theory about the post-Wano fate of those two characters. Talking about Kaido and Big Mom. Are they dead or alive? I believe they're alive. So where are they and why haven't anybody seen him even? Though it's been several days after their, uh, burial. Last time we saw them, they were floating around in magma, and then a huge eruption occurred. I think the eruption shifted things underground. In such a way that a hollow cave was created near the underwater old Wano. They're both trapped in that cave. They have access to water. Which, as we know, is not salt water, and therefore, also. Access to food. Fish. They can't swim up because they're devil fruit users. And they can't simply brute force their way up through the ground because that would flood the cave and drown them. So, they can't escape. But eventually the borders of Wano will be opened, which means the walls will be brought down. Which mean the water will drain. Which means they're free. But when that happens I don't think either one will pose a threat to our heroes. Here's my individual theory for each of them. Kaido. By that point, I believe Luffy will already be Pirate King and will be ready to wage war against the world government, which is what will prompt Momo to open the borders and gain access to Pluton. So by then, Kaido will acknowledge Luffy as Joy Boy, bringer of dawn. And while Kaido will certainly not serve under Luffy, I don't think he'll just stand by and watch the war unfold either. He'll definitely take the opportunity to kick some WG ass. Big Mom. Earlier in Wano, a simple shipwreck made Big Mom lose her memory. I believe the conclusion of the fight against Kid, Law, followed by that explosion and even a possible temporary drowning, again, made her lose her memory. Again. So the Big Mom who's currently trapped down there is the one we know as Olin. When she goes back up I think she'll just go home peacefully. We know her crew is no longer considered one of in Emperor. Which means she probably lost a lot of territory around the world but I believe her crew, family is still holding WCR. Apart from the fact that she was batshit crazy and evil, that was a pretty wholesome place where all sorts of species could coexist. And now, with a good and kind leader like Olin, that will finally come true.